there. He'll go home tonight and go, yeah, that was a good game if they hang on here and win. But he'll remember that throw because it was special. You're looking at two Super Bowl MVPs right there. Branch, who won it once. The game down in Jacksonville against Philadelphia. Brady, who was twice named Super Bowl MVP. They hook up on the big 61-yarder. Well, Jim, let's look at the touchdown. Top of the screen, Dion Branch, Andre Goodman. It looks like the safeties are going to do that. But no, they go in the middle. And Tom Brady, as he makes the fake, he sees the safety in the middle of the field and knows Dion Branch down the sideline. That little push right there is enough to get the separation. What a throw by Tom Brady. There was a little contact. There was, and look at this. Perfect spiral. The football went about 43 yards in the air. Diamond, diamond, diamond. 157 to go in the half. Denver with two timeouts. Number one. Lance Ball for five. Jim, you saw it, the little contact, watch it. Oh, nice, and it was, hey, look, no That's big not deal. Interference. No, it's not, because Andre Goodman actually was grabbing Dion Branch's right arm before that little push back, so. Second and five. Tebow waiting around. And dropped. Lance Ball. Coming up, the Sprint Halftime Report. J.B., Dan, Shannon, and Boomer, Coach Cow. Their take on the first half here and the recap of that exciting NFC Divisional Playoff game won by the 49ers with seconds to go, knocking out the Saints. It's all coming up on the Sprint Halftime Report. Now, Denver better be careful That's here. That's right. You got it. Third down, in danger of giving the ball back to the Patriots one more time and having, again, to punt into some pretty stiff breezes. Oh, I think, you, yeah, this is not like be careful. You've got to try to pick the first down up here. Because the Patriots here, you're thinking like you, Jim. Well, they didn't snap it in time, did they? They called the timeout. No, it might be a penalty. Prior to the delay of game, timeout. Denver, their second time out of the half. It will be a 30-second timeout. So it was close. They pick up the flag, and they say the timeout was first. Let's remember, though, how they do it. Yeah, well, when you look at the clock, if the ball's not snapped, then you look down. So when you look back down the football, maybe there was just enough time for Tim Tebow to call timeout. It's a big timeout, too. For the Broncos, third and five, or third and ten, here at third and five, they can still run the football. John Fox knows it's a big spot of the game. He comes running down to help out the offense. It's 12 men on the field, isn't it? I don't think John's still considered a player. All right, third down and five. Incomplete. Going to Demarius Thomas. And they'll send it back to the Patriots and New England still with a timeout. Yeah, you know, they they forced themselves into this situation. Demarius Thomas is open. You just got to stick it on him. And the weather, the fact that they don't throw the football a lot, that's what the Patriots are willing to give up. Outside routes. Catch signal, Falk. Kevin Falk with the 42. Boy, the win. It is really hurting the Broncos a lot more than it is the Denver Broncos. I mean, the New England Patriots. Well, Brady's tied an all time NFL postseason record, tying the most touchdown throws in the first half of a playoff game with four. And again, he's going downwind here. No one's ever thrown five in the first half of a playoff game. Well, I don't think they'll be shy about trying to do it, that's for sure. This offense, we've seen it. It is, a, Dennis Allen said it, it's full throttle. They know they're going after it all the time. Completion to Welker at the 50. 
gain of eight. They'll hold on to their timeout. doesn't want to call the timeout because he has the defense. You know, he has them frazzled. So why why take a timeout and let them settle down? Roger! Here he goes for the long ball and over the head of Edelman with Goodman this time running with him. And again, the sprint halftime report is coming up. J.P. Dan and Shannon Boomer and Coach Cower back in the studio in New York and We'll hear their thoughts on this first half action here at Foxborough. You, you know, a lot of things here, Jim, but the biggest is that is the Denver Broncos once again cannot pressure the quarterback at all. Second and ten. Edelman gets out of bounds with ten seconds to go. How about that, Julia Edelman? Can do it all. Wide receiver, defensive back, special teams player. Only caught four balls in the regular season. Exceptional, though, filling in in the secondary emergency duty a number of games. And his punt return talents as well. Yeah, good job getting out of bounds. He was an option quarterback in college. Yeah, Kent State. He played the role of Tebow in the scout team. Preparing for this one. Great. He's got Season for the quarterback. Gronkowski for the third time tonight. Another zone defense. Even though that time Tom Brady gets hit, Gronkowski right down the middle of the defense. Tom Brady, good move by Von Miller. He gets hit, but it doesn't have any effect. Look at the middle of that field, how wide open it is. And they were playing a coverage to stop that type of play. DJ Williams turned the wrong way. With only five seconds to go in the half. Good job by Mesco on the hold. Well, Gronkowski, by his enormous standards, had a quiet afternoon out in Denver. Hernandez was the big target that day, but boy, are they making up for it on this occasion. He's making up for it now, Jim. Let me just show you. They played a defense to stop this type of play. He's going to go down the middle. Here's D.J. Williams. He's supposed to be back here to help out. But when the play takes off, sorry, there it goes. He turns to the other side. Oh, that's the throw to the outside. Sorry, I was. And Tom Brady sees the middle wide open, makes the throw. Another tight spiral right into the midst of Gronkowski. You know, all week long, there's been all this attention after that incredible finish in Denver last week. And we even joke with Brady and Tebow about the fact that Tom's been almost anonymous this week coming into the game. Yeah, there it is, going right down the middle. You see at that time, the linebacker turned the wrong way. And yeah, you know, Jim, you're right. We had a little fun with both quarterbacks saying that, but you know, Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, this football team, four years since they won a playoff game. By the way, Brady sets the record with five touchdown passes in the half of a postseason game. Gronkowski's three touchdown receptions has tied an NFL postseason record. Well, what do you do? You shut out one tight end in the first contest. Yeah. They keep it away, like you said. But this time, it's just, I say that a lot. When you talk about the Patriots, it's, there's five guys that can catch the football. Can you put a guy that can run with all of them and cover them down the field? The answer is no. You know that last game, after a fast start by the Broncos, up 16-7, New England outscored them the rest of the way in that one, 34-7.